You know, filming in low light conditions is something that every camcorder operator has to face sooner or later. But what about filming in pretty much no light conditions? That happens too. But if it does happen, the DVX200 does have a function that can make the whole process go a whole lot easier. Here's an example. I shot this scene, we're about 10 feet away from a campfire. That's the only light that's there is, is the flickering of a campfire. And this scene I shot in normal camcorder mode at 8000 ISO. Then I swap in the infrared recording mode and you can see that it's much clearer. It's much easier to see what's going on. Yeah, it has that kind of night vision look to it. So what the DVX-200 can do, it can actually move its infrared filter out of the way. You normally have an infrared filter in the camera to filter out infrared light because it can pollute and contaminate normal lighted images. If you pull that filter out of the way, then the infrared light that may be in the ambient environment can come into play and help illuminate the image. So low light circumstances is one thing, but if you're in absolutely zero light, maybe you're filming a reality TV show or you are uh, doing nature photography or something like that, and you're out in the middle of the hills and there is no light around anywhere, you could bring along an infrared light, an infrared emitting light, and use that to illuminate your scenes and the animals or the subjects, whatever, they would have no idea that you had a light pointed at them. Here's an example. In this scene, the, the campfire's out. <laughs> there is no light whatsoever. And I'm filming this at 32,000 ISO. This is super gain, 32,000 ISO. Just to show you, there's just nothing coming in. I swap in the infrared recording mode and it lights up the whole scene. So how do you activate it? Just go in the user switch menu, user SW, and assign IR rec to one of the user buttons. That's for infrared recording. Then when you want to trigger infrared recording, just press that user button and it will swap out the infrared filter. And then when IR rec is activated, the camera will take over a whole lot of features like automatic ISO and automatic shutter and automatic exposure. You can't control any of those things. You just got to roll with it because it does what it needs to do to get a decent image in a no light scenario. So infrared recording, one press of the user button to activate it, another press to return the camera back to normal. That's all you really need to do to be able to film in low light or potentially even no light situations. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful and be sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series for even more tips and tricks about how to use your DVX200. Panasonic.